Hello everyone, welcome to my 1 to 99 Herblore guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get to 1 to 99 Herblore. I'm going to try to show you guys methods that you can train without breaking your bank if you're not a very rich player. However, just keep in mind Herblore is a very, very expensive skill, really no matter how you train it, unless you decide to do a couple methods that I'll show you at the very end of the video, which aren't necessarily the fastest. But anyway, if you do want to just grind out Herblore and get it fast without diddling around, it's going to take a lot of money, so just keep that in mind. So, is Herblur worth it? I definitely think so. At level 85 Herblur, you unlock the Super Anti-Fire Potion, which is essential for a lot of PVMing and Slayer. At level 92 Herblur, you unlock all the Extreme Potions, which boost your stats fairly high and don't cost too much to make, and they're very useful. At level 96 Herblur, you unlock the Overload, which is amazing for killing bosses, as it boosts your stats a lot and really helps you deal the deal damage and boost your accuracy. And of course at level 99 Herblur you get the cape and that is required for the max cape. So from level 1 to 38 Herblur this is how you're going to start out. Um, from level 1 to 12 you can make attack potions which is going to take 64 Guam potions that are unfinished and 64 Eye of Nudes. And all my XP per hour rates are going to be um, just underneath the materials and all that stuff so you can tell exactly how long it's going to take you to do each step. So 50,000 XP per hour roughly for attack potions and once you get to level 12 you're going to make strength potions and you're going to need 143 Terramin potions and Limpert roots and from 26 to 38 you're going to make energy potions and that's going to be 324 Harlander potions and chocolate dust and just keep in mind that um, the XP rates go up very very fast. For example when you're at level 26 getting 136k XP per hour is extremely fast and you'll be leveling up in no time. So for attack potions it's just the Guam potion unfinished and the Eye of Newt 25 XP per potion. For the Terramin po or the strength potion it's a Terramin potion unfinished and a Limpwort root 40 XP per potion and for the energy potion it's a Harlander potion unfinished and chocolate dust 68k 68 XP per potion. Now from levels 38 to 88, it is quite a big jump, but as I said, the XP per hour increases very fast, so it won't take all that long. From level 38 to 52, you're going to want to make prayer potions, so that's um, 1,048 radar potions and snake grass. From 52 to 84, uh, super energy potions are the fastest potion that is still reasonable. Um, they're about 16 GP per XP at the moment. I really can't include the exact money uh, prices for everything because prices change all the time and if I included prices then the guide would become irrelevant in a few months when the prices have changed so that's really why I can't explain prices although you can get the prices just with a quick Google search quite easily but regardless from 52 to 84 you want to make super energy potions and that's 24,000 Avento potions and Mortmire fungus you might want to um, buy the potions sell them back and buy more if you don't have enough money to buy all of them in one go because that is quite expensive however they're 236 XP per hour 236k so it should take no time to get to 84 and then the last jump before extreme potions you're going to make adrenaline potions uh, 7173 of them which is just super energy potions you can use some of the ones that you made in the previous step and papaya fruits and this is 403k xp per hour so as you can see it's getting really really fast now for the prayer potion you want Raynar potions unfinished and snape grass and that is 87 xp per potion for the super energies it's avento potion unfinished and a mortmire fungus and that's 118 xp per potion and then handily it's just the super energy and a papaya fruit which makes the adrenaline potion and that's 200 XP per potion so a big jump there. So there's two different ways to get from 88 to 99 one is the overload method which is more efficient but costs a lot more money and one is the slightly cheap method that I'll cheaper method that I'll show in a bit but for the overload method you want to make 3350 of each extreme potion and that will get you from 88 to 96 and then at 96 you can make overloads and you want to make all those extreme potions into overloads and that will get you to 99 as you can tell this is really efficient because you get a whole bunch of overloads without having to make overloads past 99 so you want to make 3350 extreme attack extreme strength and extreme defense you can see the XP rates and the materials that you will need on the screen 
And just keep in mind that at the moment, dwarf weeds and lantanimes are very, very expensive, so this is why this method is going to cost quite a bit more than the method I'll show you in a bit. But I would recommend this method if you are planning on using a lot of overloads, because just keep in mind, you're going to have to make the overloads anyway if you do enough PVM. So this just means you won't have to spend money on overloads in the future. And extreme magic are super magic and ground mud runes. You can grind mud runes just by buying mud runes and then grinding them. It does take a while to grind them, but you have to do it for overloads, so that's just the way it is. And extreme ranging is super ranging potions and grenwall spikes. And then, of course, from 96 to 99, you want to make 3,350 overloads, and that will get you to 99. Um, if you are doing the correct method, you can get nearly a million XP per hour making overloads, so it is very, very fast, and it will only take about three hours to get to 99, so not a problem at all there. And obviously, before you can make overloads, you have to gather all the ingredients, so Avento and Super Attack makes Extreme Attack, Dwarf Weed and Super Strength makes Extreme Strength, Lantadime and Super Defense makes Extreme Defense, Ground Mud Runes and Super Magic makes Extreme Magic, and Grand Wall Spikes plus Super Ranging makes Extreme Ranging. And then once you have all five of those potions at once in your inventory and a clean torso, there you go, there is your overload, and I saved the torso, which is pretty cool. The slightly cheaper method is from 88 to 99, just making Extreme Attack Potions. This is very fast, as it is nearly 450,000 XP per hour. Um, and you will need 39,000 super attack potions and 39,000 clean aventos. Um, this, you will save a lot of money if you are planning to get to 99 Herdlore this way and still get it very fast. However, just keep in mind that you won't have to, you will not have overloads to use once you're at 99 Herdlore, uh, so you will have to make more in the future. However, if you are a skiller or you really don't enjoy bossing very much, then this might be a good method for you to do because you won't need their overloads anyway and you save so much money doing this. Even though I think cleaning herbs is a waste of time and not very good, um, I just included some XP rates for cleaning herbs. Cleaning herbs can be a way to actually profit off of training herb lore. The bad thing about it is herbs are very expensive to buy and stock up on, so if you wanted to efficiently train, you would have to buy thousands and thousands and thousands of herbs, which would cost up, up, up to hundreds of mils um, if you are buying some of the more expensive herbs. Uh, you can make money doing this, however, it's just not very effective at all because it takes so much money to be able to stock up on herbs to train. Otherwise, you could only clean a few hundred herbs at a time, and then you'd have to sell them and buy back more, which is just not very efficient. And also, the GE does have limits. You can only buy 10,000 herbs every four hours, and you can clean that amount of herbs in two hours. So that means if you legitimately wanted to train this way, you could only train for two hours, and then you'd have to wait for another two hours before you could continue training. Probably the best method to train herb lore without spending any money is by doing wilderness warbands. I'm not going to go into this as this is a very in-depth process. However, if you can find a good friends chat or a good clan that does warbands, uh, you can just join them. And at level 70, you can get up to 180k XP a day for herb lore. That's doing three warbands a day. And at level 90, you can get up to 300k XP a day. So if you're a bit patient and you really don't want to spend any money on herb lore, um, I would recommend to do Warbands if you find a really good group to go with, and after a couple months you can achieve level 99 this way by doing it every day.